What's happening guys? We're back and we're gonna put the engine transmission back in the car today. All right, so last episode, we modified the build table to make it a little easier to, to get the engine trans in. Today, we're actually gonna modify the chassis to make it even easier again. Um, in the past, every time we put the, the engine trans in, we have to put the transmission in first, get that bolted to the chassis, and then drop the motor in and bolt them together while they're in the car. And it's a big pain to do that. So I wanna make it so that we can bolt the engine and transmission together outside of the car and then drop them all in as one unit. Uh, I think it'll make it a lot easier, especially once we got you know clutches and stuff installed. So to do that though, we have to uh, modify the transmission cross member. Right now, it's a welded in piece. It's actually on one of the, the crossbars of the chassis. Uh, so we can't get the transmission underneath it in order to kind of, if you ever seen somebody mount an engine trans, they always go in at like a pretty steep angle and scoop the transmission underneath the car. We can't do that because of our, our cross member. So on regular cars, that cross member uh, bolts in and out so you can do it. So that's what we want to do today. Uh, so what we're gonna do first, before we cut anything out of the chassis, we're gonna measure how far the transmission extends into the tunnel. And we're gonna weld in just a temporary kind of brace back there so that when we cut out our current cross member, the chassis doesn't flex or move anywhere. And then we'll cut that out and build a, a proper bolt-in trans cross member so that we can uh, do it all in one fell swoop. So. Let's measure up the transmission and brace up the, the chassis. All right, here's the section that we just cut out. Um, I want to reuse this. It's got the, the tabs and everything cut for the transmission. So I don't want to have to re remake those. So the plan is I got some one inch angle iron and I'm going to build kind of cradles so that they'll, they'll fit tight up against this bar and then we can bolt the, through the, the angle iron and through the, the lower chassis members. And then this piece will weld in between them so we can pop those bolts off and pull this all out as one. And then uh, we'll have lots of space to move our transmission around. So let's cut a couple pieces of the, uh, the angle iron, get it kind of shaped because we've got to put a bend in it. I want to bolt it in both to this member and this member and they're not straight. So I have to put a bend in it and then uh, weld it all up. All right, we got our two cradles tacked onto the chassis here, and then I went through and finished welded the joint where they, they make their little bend. Um, now it's time to put the, uh, the cross piece between them. Uh, initially, I was gonna put the motor and trans in, into the chassis, and then bolt the transmission to this cross member so that everything kind of lined up. I don't think I need to do that, and I think it's gonna actually make it more difficult to weld. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a bar across these two where this came out of, these two cross members, and then clamp this to there and just kind of eyeball the measurement. Um, if we're off by a little bit, I think we have enough play in our bushings and our mount points to, to account for it. And if we don't, we can always bend these two little tabs on this member and that will kind of allow it to shift a little bit. So I'm gonna clamp the bar across here, get this guy a little kind of jigged up and then weld her in.
All right, there's our finished trans cross member. Um, we drilled all the holes, uh, just eighth inch pilot holes right now. We are gonna enlarge them out to take a three eighths inch bolt, uh, but I just wanted to get the pilots done and then we can do the rest of it on the drill press. Um, next step, we gotta come in here and do all the finish welding on these joints that are just tacked up. And then down the road, we might come in here and add in some gussets and stuff just to strengthen this piece up a little bit, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So let's fire up the welder and do the finish welds. All right, we got the uh, the holes drilled out in the cross member, so they'll accept our bolts. Uh, the next step is we need to drill the holes through the chassis. Um, we did drill just quarter inch pilot holes through the bottom when we had the, the cross member still tacked on there. Uh, but we need to transfer those all the way through that square tube to the top side. And I'm a little bit concerned about the, uh, the drill bit wandering as it goes through the tube. So what I've done, is I've actually drilled an eighth of an inch hole through a, a block of black walnut. So this should keep my drill bit nice and straight. I drilled this on the drill press, so hopefully it's straight. Uh, so I should be able to clamp this onto my, my chassis and then run the drill bit through it, and it should act as a guide. Uh, it's the first time I've tried this, so it's kind of an experiment, but we'll give it a shot. Well, that worked pretty awesome. Uh, all the holes look like they transferred pretty straight through. So that was just an eighth of an inch pilot hole. So now we gotta get the, I think it's like a 5 16 drill bit for the bolts. And we'll enlarge those holes out and then we can uh, bolt that cross member in. Well, that worked pretty good. Uh, so if everything worked the way that we wanted it to, we should be able to just unbolt this, uh, this trans cross and then bolt the transmission up to the engine and swing everything in all as one piece. So let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. All right, so here's where we're at. The transmission is hitting this, uh, this cross member here at the top, and then we can't tilt it any further because the, uh, the snout of the transmission is starting to hit our build table. So we might have to take and notch that out in the future so we can do this. I've raised the back of the chassis up pretty high, so it should go in. Um, our oil pan hasn't quite cleared this front cross member yet. But uh, I think we can get it in. I think it's just gonna take a little bit more wiggling. Uh, this would definitely be a two-man job in the future. Uh, but we're just gonna keep working at it and uh, keeping our fingers clear because we're starting to, like this front strap isn't even holding the motor where it's such an angle. So it's a little, uh, little bit dicey. The right way to do it would be with like a proper balance bar, but I don't have one. So we'll keep wiggling and we'll get her in there.
All right, it's all in there. Uh, it was a bigger job than I thought it was gonna be, but uh, we got it in, we got it in all as one piece. Um, we did have to raise the back of the chassis up quite high in order to give me enough clearance for the snow to the transmission because it kept hitting the build table. So not right now, the chassis is about nine inches high at the trans cross member. Uh, our ride height is just over six inches. So if we're gonna do this in the future when the car is on four wheels and sitting on the ground, we're gonna have to raise the whole car up at least three inches in order to get the, the angle that we need to get the trans and, uh, and engine out, which isn't a whole lot. We could do that, well, we could drive up on blocks to get that, or we could do it on a hoist or jack stands or whatever we need to do. So that's comforting. Um, if the car was on jack stands and on the ground, it would probably be a lot easier. If I had a second guy, it would be a heck of a lot easier. Um, and also if I had a proper balance bar, it'd be easy. So there's a, there's a learning curve to it, but uh, we got her in. So we're gonna call it an episode. Uh, next week, we're gonna bolt on some of the, some of the accessories like the intake manifold, uh, the exhaust manifold, the turbo, things like that. So we can get an idea of kind of how our routing is gonna look for like a steering column, uh, intercooler, piping, things like that. So yeah, so until then guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media, and we'll see you next week. I'm out of here.